Hey, what is going on YouTube? Uh, we're going to talk some exciting stuff today. We're talking Model Y accessories. Now, I'm the kind of person that I can't just buy something, especially a car, as is and, and not do anything to it. I need to make it mine. I need to accessorize it. I need to, I need to put my own personal touch on it. And so that's what I've that's what I've done. Um, I'm not done yet. This is just everything that I've done so far. Most of the accessories that I have gotten are purely cosmetic. There are some that are functional, but most of them are cosmetic. And uh, we're going to go over some of them today. All right, we're going to start with the exterior. RPM Tesla's emblems, the front and rear Tesla emblem. They come in two options, red and black. And the way that it works is... RPM sends you these emblems, and it's 179 bucks up front, $179. They send you the emblems. You replace your factory emblems, and there's an instructional video on how to do that. Uh, you replace them with these, and then you send RPM Tesla back your original emblems, and they refund you $100, or they credit you $100, I should say. So uh, the total cost would be $79, bucks, so $80 bucks, um, for these emblems, but they're the real deal. They're they're just um, they're ones that other customers have sent back to them, and they re refinished and repainted. And um, so they're original emblems. They're just painted, and they're on there just as good as as uh, when they come out of the factory. So it's a little bit pricey, um, but you know the thing is, I haven't seen any vinyls that fit on the rear emblem because the rear emblem is bigger than the Model Three. So I haven't found any vinyls that fit this yet, but I think they look really good. I'm a big fan of the gray and, and red, as you can tell. Um, I like the gray with the red trim. If you guys have seen a red dual motor emblem, that's what I'm looking for next. Okay, and sticking with the ex uh, the exterior here, um, there's really not much else. It's just the vinyls. I do have the the red Tesla vinyls on my rims here. And they just stick right there. There's a little bit of an indent where the Tesla is, and they just fit right in there. Um, I do have the, the caps, too. So these are pretty nice, actually. They're inexpensive, like 8 bucks. I think I paid for them. Actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. I got these from RPM Tesla as well. Um, they were free. They were free with the uh, order of the emblems. I think it was like if you spend a certain amount of money, I think it was either 50 or 100 bucks. They send you these, uh, that's like a little bonus. So, free cap covers. Heck yeah. I forget where I got these from. I think I might have bought a pack um, of red vinyls, a Model 3 red vinyls from Amazon, I think it was. For like 12 bucks maybe. Okay, moving along. Just some pretty simple red vinyls for the door handles here. Uh, as I said, I'm a real big fan of the red, the gray and red. I think it looks great. Like I said, I like to make the car my own. So these were inexpensive, I think 15 bucks. I bought these from Abstract Ocean. Great little company. Um, a lot of my products are from them. I'm gonna talk about them more once we get into the interior. And as far as the exterior goes, I believe that's it. Yeah, um, I did do a ceramic coating on the car right after I bought it. I did it myself and um, I'm really impressed. It rained last night. As you can see, the water just beads up. So my favorite part about the ceramic coating, uh, it looks really good. Um, it keeps a nice shine and everything, but when you're driving in the rain, you don't even need windshield wipers. The water just beads up and rolls right over the car. It's pretty awesome. The first accessory I bought for the car, installed in the car, was the screen protector. And I got that from Abstract Ocean as well. Um, it's a matte finish, so it's a little bit more expensive. It's 38 bucks if you want the uh, gloss or the regular. It's, uh, I believe it's on sale. Let me see here. The Gen 2 is on sale, oh boy. All right, disregard that. Um, but anyway, $37.99, that's a little bit more expensive than a lot of the other products you're gonna see out there. But I really like this screen protector. I haven't used any other ones, so I can't really compare it. But when I chose the matte finish, I was a little bit skeptical. Like, 
I didn't want the screen to look dull or anything like that, but I also didn't want the glare um, that you hear about the screen having a lot of glare in the sun. So I got the matte finish, and to my surprise, there wasn't any, like, it didn't dim the screen at all, in my opinion. It looks great. It's crystal clear. The install was super easy. They provide you with a, a plastic frame that just goes around uh, the perimeter of the screen. And um, then you just place your screen protector right in the middle. There's no like messing around. There's no placing it down, not having a perfect, having to lift it back up and everything like that. It just, it goes, it fits right in the frame. It fits on there perfectly. So the install was super easy. Um, no complaints about the, the screen protector at all. Here's the other red uh, sticker I was talking about, the, the vinyl on the steering wheel there. I like the gray and red. If you watched the first video I made of uh, of the Model Y pickup, I installed the wood vinyl on the center console because I wanted to, to match the dash. As you can see, it looks a little bit different now. Um, and there's a story behind that. So when I bought the, the wood vinyl from RPM Tesla, I, it was my mistake. I, I misread the... I, I misread the description. I thought it came with the center console vinyl and the uh, the controls, the door control vinyls, um, which made sense to me at the time because it was like sixty something bucks. So I figured, okay, yeah, it's a little expensive, but it comes with the door the door vinyls as well. But it didn't come with the door vinyls. Whatever, uh, my mistake. I thought it did. I installed the wood vinyl on the console here. I thought it looked really good. It matched the the dash wood um, almost perfectly. Uh, you couldn't really tell a difference, so I, I was happy with that. The door control vinyls came separately, so I'll just order those two. It's another, I think it was like 37 bucks, which is, I was a little bit upset about that because that's expensive, but is what it is. So I ordered the door control vinyls, and after about a week or so, they, they, they came and I went to install them. And lo and behold, they, they didn't fit on here. They were, they were made for a right-hand drive model, so everything was backwards. So it was made for like a European car. So I contacted RPM and, and you know emailed them, let them know everything that happened. And um, they were great. They got back to me, um, I think it was on a weekend. So they got back to me on Monday. And they were like, oh, sorry about that. We're going to send you out a new one. They didn't ask for me to, to send back um, the, the original ones I ordered. So I was cool with that. They sent me a new one out another week or so. I prepped the doors again. And when I say prep, it just, you know, you wipe everything down with the alcohol wipe to get it nice and clean. I prepped everything, opened up the package, went to go put on the vinyls, and lo and behold, they were, <laughs> again, right-hand drive um, stickers. So it was they sent me the same ones, and I was pissed. I was I was furious. I, I emailed them again and let them know what was happened. I, I asked for a refund, and that was the end of that. They, um, they refunded me the money. And yes, I am wearing red and black uh, moose pajama pants, so don't judge me. I wanted to cover these because, you know, they're the original finish here is that piano gloss black which gets uh, super fingerprinty i really don't like the look and i definitely wanted to cover these and since i haven't seen the wood vinyl coverings for these anywhere other than rpm tesla um i had to make a decision i ripped off all the wood vinyl here i took it all off and then i went with a bundle from abstract ocean and it was like 99 bucks so again it's not this stuff isn't cheap guys and I chose the brush black, and it comes with the center console wrap, door control wrap, and the steering wheel wrap, which um, it also comes with an emblem, whichever um, option you choose. It comes with the emblem, but I left the, the uh, red one on here. Um, but it does come with these wraps here, and it's, uh, like I said, I went with the brush black. It looks phenomenal, in my opinion. It's got a little bit of a shine to it. It's not, like, glaring or anything like that, but it's slightly, it's, uh, slightly textured. It also comes with... You know the the black the strip here and also the uh the rear console uh, covers here with the USB C portals the way i am i like to match everything um i also bought the black the brush black dash dash cover hey bud you want to come in come on in did you finish your your numbers let's see oh okay hey good job bud Want to say hi to everybody? Hi to who? Everybody on YouTube. All the millions and millions of dad's fans. Just kidding. There's only a couple. Hi. What do you think of the vinyl wrap? This is kind of new. How's it look? Remember it used to be wood up here? Remember? I didn't take it off. No, it's... I didn't take it off. 
I mean, you don't take it off. It's, it's. I put it on there. Get off. You like the wood? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I had to change it. Why? It didn't look good in here by itself. When I had the the matching wood here, it looked good, but not anymore. But yeah, so the brush black wood, uh, the, the dash cover looks phenomenal. Um, and the great thing about Abstract Ocean is they send you two of these. They send you two of these just in case you make a mistake. The same goes for the door control uh, covers. They send you t uh, two of all these and they send you one extra of these just in case you make a mistake. But these are a little bit easy to, these are easy to put on. So they send you the one extra of the left side just in case you, uh, so you, you, you do that one first and just in case you, you get it wrong, I mean, you do it again real quick. But, that, this color is um, awesome. Yeah. I, I guess I could just touch this all day. Yeah, you want to play a game? No, I want to play this. Centipede? Yeah, centipede. Like in that movie? Yeah. A centipede. Oh boy, good luck. I hope they don't eat you. The great thing about Abstract Ocean is they send you two of these because it's a little bit difficult to install. Um, there are instructional videos on the website that show you in detail every step of the way, but they send you two. Uh, I actually ended up using two. The first one I, um, I got about halfway through it and I I accidentally put a big crease in it and uh, ruined it. So um, thankfully there was another one there for me to use. Abstract Ocean, I can't recommend them enough. They're a little bit more expensive than uh, most of the other companies out there, but they are, their customer service is great. They send a quality product. It's daytime, so I'm not sure if you can really tell, but so I've got the red um, LED footwell lights under here. Again, I like the red, along with the red foot pedals. Uh, these ones I got from, it was somewhere on Amazon. I try not to shop on Amazon for this stuff. I try to use, um, you know, mom and pop shops, but uh, these I couldn't find anywhere except for on Amazon. So super easy to install. They look great. Mats, I did a video on the mats. Um, again, I really like these uh, with the red trim. You can get them without the red trim if you if you want, but uh, for, the, for the cabin mats that were like 180 bucks, I think they look really great. Um, they're custom cut, so they fit really good. They're solid, I like them. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. All the products that were featured in the video, I'm gonna put a link down in the description below. None of it's sponsored. I went out and bought everything on my own, so nothing like that. And until next time, I'll talk to you later.